Hey guys, so here's another video that's short and sweet and it's about how genetic variation can arise in a population. If you remember in one of my earlier videos, Charles Darwin is the guy who came up with the theory of evolution, stating that genetic variation in a population is acted on by natural selection in order to eventually change the population so it is more adapted to its environment. But Darwin didn't actually know where the variation came from, he just knew that the individuals were all different. Well that's changed because now we know where variation comes from. Most of the time, it's from mutations and sexual reproduction. Mutations are basically random changes in the DNA of an organism, resulting in a different expression of traits. Now, usually when we think of mutations, we think of something bad, like maybe a deformed bacterium amidst a whole sea of other bacteria. But mutations can actually be good and neutral, too. Sometimes mutations don't do anything, even though they change the DNA sequence. These are called silent mutations, and we'll get into that more when we talk about protein translation. Mutations can also be beneficial because they might provide a new variation of a trait that is advantageous in an environment. On the other hand, there's sexual rep reproduction, which provides genetic variation because half of the genes come from one parent and the other half comes from another parent. This results in recombinant offspring because you don't look exactly like one of your parents. Genetic variation is extremely important. In fact, it's necessary for natural selection to act on a population. Without variation, some individuals would not have advantages over others. So that's all for the origins of genetic variation, and I hope you like this video.